G'day one what fly squad welcome back to my channel my name is Jade and we're at Terminal 2 Heathrow Airport today we're gonna fly United Premium Heavy 767 from here to Boston United States so now without further ado let's head inside and check in Heathrow Airport Terminal 2 is a Star Alliance terminal all Star Alliance flights depart from here Aer Lingus, China Eastern and JetBlue also depart from Terminal 2. Today I've only got a carry-on suitcase and I've already checked in on the United app so I can skip the check-in procedure at Terminal 2. However, I came by anyway to collect a paper boarding pass. I like to keep them. At Heathrow Terminal 2, if you're flying in Star Alliance business or you've got gold status, you can use Fast Track Security. Most, if not all, wide body long haul flights depart from the satellite building and you'll need to walk over there. For those with lounge access, Lufthansa is in the main building, the United Club, Singapore Airlines Silver Chris and Air Canada Maple Leaf are located in the satellite building. Last time when I was here, I checked out the Lufthansa and Air Canada Maple Leaf. Today, I decided to check out the Silver Chris. Unfortunately today I don't have time for two lounges, I'll visit the United Club next time. So the Silver Chris and Maple Leaf are located right opposite each other. If you want to see what's the Maple Leaf like, check this video out. The Singapore Airlines Lounge is divided into two parts, Business Class and First Class. United Polaris passengers have access to the Business Class. This lounge isn't too flashy, it isn't too old either, it's a good balance of old and new and to be honest I quite like it here and I prefer this one over the Singapore Changi Silver Chris and Chris Gold lounges mainly because it's not overcrowded here and you get an amazing view over the tarmac. The buffet here offers an extensive selection of cold and hot food. There's also a teeny tiny little bar where you can order cocktails. In the Singapore Airlines Silver Chris Lounge, I caught up with Sate Airlines on Instagram. Later, he's boarding a Lufthansa flight to Munich. It's amazing how you can just bump into people in airport lounges. In February 2024, I booked on a Finnair flight A330, operating four Qantas from Singapore to Sydney. I can't wait to take that flight. So it's now 5.17. Boarding starts at 5.10, but I'm already the last to board, oh my god. Welcome on board United 767-300. My seat today, 5 Alpha, a true window window seat. A rule of thumb, on United Polaris, every odd number row has seats directly next to the window instead of next to the aisle. Those odd number rows give you more privacy and space. In October 2023, United introduced the new Polaris. It's not about the seats, but rather the soft products, like now you get flowers in the cabin and other small things. On this six and a half hour flight to Boston, you get two full meals and also mid-flight snack on demand. Here's the wine list. On today's flight, champagne. It's high seek, monopole blue top. It's slightly more expensive than Piper high seek. Now I would like to go through the new Polaris beddings. They now provide you with a better version of the popular cool gel pillow. It offers cooling effect on both sides. This blanket is completely new, made from recycled plastic bottles. In this bag, you'll find a proper pillow and duvet. I'll show you guys after takeoff. This is the new United Polaris amenity kit. My fellow Adelaide reviewer, Dennis Bunnick, says it looks like a bag for Eshes, and I can't disagree. I like the new amenities in there. You have earplugs, hand cream, face mist, a wet wipe for your face, etc. So the reason it looks like it's for Eshes, it's because it's got this strap, and it looks exactly what F-boys around my age would wear. The coat hook is saying, Eshe Ba. 
And now I'll go through the safe features. It's all quite self-explanatory, so I'll leave it to you guys. The tray table can be moved back and forth, so during the meal service you still get access to the aisle. So overall we've got plenty of storage space including this compartment, the space underneath the TV and also the space between the seat and the window.
United Airlines in-flight entertainment is one of the best in the skies. You get lots and lots of movies and TV shows to choose from. Unfortunately, Wi-Fi somehow is not working on today's flight. Apparently, the cockpit crew had tried to reset the Wi-Fi, but still it didn't work. The new United Polaris service started with a hot towel after takeoff. Hello there, welcome on board United 767 Polaris Business Class Lavatory. I'm in the one behind the cockpit. So it actually smells really good here. I wish you can smell that too. Lovely moot lighting. You've got um, fabric and clothes refresher, hand cream, really, really fancy, and hand soap down here. You've got paper towels, facial tissues, mirror at the back really decent. I'm pretty sure the fabric spray and the hand cream are new. About 40 minutes after takeoff, we're going to receive some nuts and a choice of beverage. So this is really really cool. A lot of airlines don't do this in business. They now offer wine tasting in that smaller glass. If you like it, they'll pour it in that bigger glass in the middle. Dinner was served about 40 minutes after the cocktail service. So there's bread and butter. And then right next to it is a grilled salmon with pickled cucumber and teriyaki sauce. This is Mediterranean salad with little jam lettuce, feta cheese, cucumbers and cherry tomatoes. For entree or main, we got a tomato and mushroom ricotta ravioli. Honestly, not a bad meal at all. The ravioli was really creamy, I just wish the portion was a bit bigger. But then we did get a big bowl of salad. I like the grilled salmon a lot, the teriyaki sauce goes well with it. So now it's dessert time and here comes the famous United dessert tray. They're offering sundae, cheese plate, fresh fruit with Bailey's Irish cream or port wine. So after dinner, I went back to the lavatory and look, they got flowers this time. I went a bit too early last time, the crew haven't set up the lavatory yet. And yes, the flower is real. I'll now set my seat into the bed mode and show you the bedding. I really do feel the improvement to the bedding Everything feels a bit smoother, and I really enjoy the fact that we got two different types of pillows. The crew have set up a mini bar at the front of the cabin. You can help yourself with a bottle of water, fresh fruit, and packets of crisp or potato chips. You can also order grilled cheese toasty and pumpkin ginger soup, just let the cabin crew know. About an hour and a half before landing, we received another dinner. So there's a chocolate brownie, a salad, and for main course, I got a grilled zucchini and chicken pea curry. The other option is ham and cheese croissant. This curry dish smells really good. The cabin crew even told me that it's her favorite. So normally at home, we eat butter chicken or green curry chicken. Usually it's salty and really strong in flavor. 
This one is a bit more refreshing. It's lightly salted, and I think they used a lot of coconut milk as well. So it's got some sweetness to it. 10 out of 10. We've started our descent into Bogan Airport, short for Boston Logan, and I'll quickly conclude this trip port right here, right now. Our journey today starts at Heathrow Terminal 2. In business class, you've got Lufthansa United, Air Canada, and Singapore Airlines lounges to choose from. The moment I stepped on board this plane, I noticed how big the business class cabin is. This configuration has 46 business class and only 99 economy seats. So therefore the service does take a while if you're in business. Nonetheless, our cabin crew today were really professional and friendly. They're some of the best United crew I've encountered. Polaris seats are really comfy. However, the passage to the aisle is a bit narrow. If you're a bigger person, you might struggle sometimes. There's also some bits and pieces between my seat and the window, but the rest of my seat area was clean. So those were my only small complaints. Yes. It was me. nice to meet you. Take you care. Too. Thanks, Thanks for having with us. That's nice. Thank Hopefully you. Really enjoyed. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Bye-bye. Again, our cabin crew were lovely. The food today was really good, unusually good for United. Entertainment was great. The bed was really comfortable. I really enjoyed the new bedding. And I also really liked the new addition to the cabin, like flour and a snack bar that the crew had set up. And I would say the new United Polaris changes are welcome additions. It's better than other airlines in some ways, like Cathay Pacific got rid of flowers completely, and a lot of airlines don't give you two pillows and a separate duvet and blanket. So that's it for the conclusion today. Thank you so much for watching. By the way, this is one of the last United flights between London and Boston. The Boston base cabin crew will make a rather emotional announcement after landing, so stay tuned for that. Meanwhile, if you enjoyed watching this video, please leave a like, comment down below, and share this video with your friends. And most importantly, please subscribe if you haven't done so. I upload a Nitro report like this one every single week, so you don't want to miss out.
they've been flying this route for the past two years, meeting new friends, meeting new frequent flyer customers, etc. And I'd like to say thank you to all those flight tenants who have dedicated their, their time, their love for this particular route. as well. Thank you. And from all of us at United or Star Alliance Partners, especially this Boston-based in-flight crew, it was great to have you on board with us tonight. It's been a pleasure serving you, and we look forward to seeing you again soon on another United flight. Too sharp for the aircraft, so stuck in the aircraft right now, uh, but the seatbelt sign will stay on for the next uh, two minutes or so while they tow us into the gate. Please wait until the seatbelts pass until we turn that seatbelt sign off. Thanks for your patience. Bye, thank you. So, can I steal one of that? We landed behind an Air France flight, and oh my god, immigration took forever. I'm now on my way to my accommodation in Boston. Hotels in Boston are the most expensive in the country. I was shocked when I was looking for a hotel room, so I'm staying outside the city in an apartment. So here's a quick room tour. It's pretty basic, but it's a really big flat. Got hooks. The bed is quite low. We got drying and laundry machines. It's much appreciated because I'm gone for two weeks and I've only got a carry on suitcase. I'm gonna cry.
It's around 3pm, I just got back to my apartment. I'm currently editing a first day video. Later that night, I went to a bar to catch up with my friend. And then tomorrow 6am, I'm flying United 737 MAX first class to New York. Thank you so much for watching, hope you enjoyed. And a big, big shout out to all my patrons and PayPal Me members for your continuous support. This is the last video of my daily upload before Christmas. I hope you guys have enjoyed the daily videos. Next Thursday, I'll do a Garuda Indonesia trip report. See you then, bye bye, and Merry Christmas!